Hey all my friends. Namaste. Assalamu alaikum and Satsri Akalji and in Tamil Vanakam or Vanakam. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to look at a song from the 100 greatest Bollywood songs as voted for on BBC Asian Network, which is the song Juma Chuma De De from the film Hum. Now I'm going to make an observation right now and I think it could be completely wrong but my instincts I trust. The poster immediately makes me think of the film Scarface directed by Brian De Palma and starring Al Pacino which was filmed in the 80s. This film was released in 1991 and unsurprisingly it's an action crime film about mafia in Mumbai and I just have the feeling that it is heavily influenced by the success of Scarface. Even the lead actor's expression in this poster is so like Al Pacino's in Scarface which is absolutely fine because I think cross-pollination around the world of mania around certain fashionable film ideas and cultural ideas at a certain time. That's perfectly understandable. And I think that this is almost like an Indian answer, a Bollywood answer to Scarface, which was this revolutionary film about a young immigrant criminal who makes it to the top of society and then has this dramatic crash. And of course, Scarface was based on an earlier film from the beginning of the 20th century, which was similar. So this is an interesting concept. It's directed by Mukul S. Anand. And I wonder if he is related to Dev Anand, who I saw in a previous video recently. The film stars Amitabh Bachchan, Rajin Kant, Govinda, Kim Katkar, Deepa Sahi, Shilpa Shirodka, Danny Dain Zongpa, who I've heard of before, Anupam Kerr and Kader Khan. This is the most successful film for the famous superstar Bachchan in the early 90s before he announced his temporary retirement for five years. That's really interesting. He also won the Filmfare Best Actor Award for it in 92. It's inspired a lot of other films, which is really interesting. The plot is, back to war, Danny Deng Zongpa rules over the docks in Mumbai, treating his workers like slaves. Despite his general dissatisfaction with this regime, Tiger, Amitabh Bachchan, extorts money from the dock workers for his father Pratap, Deepak Shirk, who in turn works as an enforcer for back to war. Tiger is in love with his best friend Gonsalves, his sister, Juma. Gonsalves is against Bakhtuar's policies and is killed by Bakhtuar and in the subsequent fallout, Tiger's father and stepmother also die, leaving two young half-brothers, Kumar and Vijay, with Tiger. Tiger immediately sets out to kill Bakhtuar and that's where I'll stop the plot because I don't want to spoil it. It looks really interesting. I wonder how popular this is in Indian culture. The screenplay is by Ravi Kapoor and Mohan Kaul, another family, Kapoor. Music is by Lax Shimant Pieralal. I'm excited to see this. I think this is going to be one of those great action type films. So let's take a look at this song. 91, serious male action thriller crime. Let's see. Wow. Oh wow, it's so classic. Whoa. This is super 80s. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> 
strange tune. Who wants this girl, doesn't he? Here we go. I swear I've heard this song before. It's so 80s, I love it. So her name's Jumma and Jumma means Friday. Whoa! Oh no! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Grimy 80s aesthetic. <laughs> wow. That's a good shot. <laughs> this is very rowdy and bawdy. Who's the kid? He's funny. This is so cheeky. <laughs> A very seedy world. Great, so great shots. <laughs> He's very like Mick Jagger. I, honestly, I think he's channeling Mick Jagger here. <laughs> oh, I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's really Mick Jagger in this. It's great. <laughs> wow. So many influences for this video. I love the lighting, it's very 80s, industrial set. They're hosing her down. What? Why are they hosing her down? <laughs> 
beautiful use of lighting on that water shower. Oh, look at this. <laughs> She's ex extraordinary. There's something so sexual about this. <laughs> There's loads of comedy here. She's wonderful. Very playful and silly. I mean, she didn't consent to that. She kept saying no. And um, I don't know what to say about that ending. I think it shows how we've changed in the days since even the early 90s, that how femininity and sexuality is represented. And something like that now would be too borderline, that ending where they sort of jump on her. I think it's too borderline now in terms of the debate around rape culture and around masculinity. I think that's so interesting. Other than that, it's such an interesting video. It reminds me very much of Dancing in the Street with Mick Jagger and David Bowie. Very similar vibe and energy. And I just get the sense that there's so much influence from 80s Western cinema here. It's much more bawdy and playful than Scarface. It's very cheeky and funny, full of life. I adore the video, I adore it. It's such a curious mix of different influences and different ideas. And I think Bachan really encapsulates that playfulness of an 80s rock star. I'm so in awe of it. That tune, I swear I've heard somewhere. If it's on the radio or somewhere before, it's a really playful dance tune. I love it. The cinematography is great. It reminds me of flash dance or something like that, with that lighting, with that industrial background, with these great guys dancing. It also reminds me of the sort of working class urban aesthetic of Bruce Springsteen. That kind of aesthetic, that urban, grimy, playful aesthetic, where really, for the first time, working class culture was being celebrated in US cinema. There's so much to say about all this. I do think the ending wouldn't be accepted now because of that ambiguity of a girl saying no, but she's still jumped on. However, I think the entertainment value of this whole video is just incredible. And it's so silly and gritty and dirty and funny and full of energy. It's very different from the last BBC Asian Network song with Devon and in the 50s. It was so innocent, such a different world. This is an alternate universe from that. The innocence is largely gone. It's very earthy. I'm so interested. I would love feedback on this song and what inside information you have and things like that. I'd be so interested to hear about this film and about this performance, about this song, about Ba Chan, about the lady who performed because she managed both to be like a model in beauty and performance, but also very funny and very cheeky. So let me know. The song is going to be stuck in my head. I feel like a child again watching an 80s film for the first time, and that is a good feeling. Thank you so much. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, because I'm loving this journey. I am your Brit reacting to Bollywood, and I want to say to all of you from London, cheerio!